Hi everyone and very warm welcome to your channel. I'm actually quite excited to share this model with you how to draw. This model lets you draw sketches with just text prompt. That's right. For example, you can just say an owl with the trigger word how three draw or how to draw and it is going to draw this owl for you. Similarly, you can say for example a dolphin and then how to draw it is going to draw this dolphin for you a still hood of a girl performing a ballet pose and so on and so forth so these sketches these drawings have been generated by this model how to draw with just a text prompt and in this video i will show you how you can do that too all free all local on your own system let me show you our real live demo so for example don't get scared by all of these nodes and stuff just focus on this so here if i just make it a bit bigger you see you see i just say an owl how to draw and then when i click on q prompt on this comfy ui uh, window just wait for it there you go so we have this owl here how good is that it is still running because i just ran it so let's wait for it. The sampler is running. There you go. We have all of these owls. You can draw uh, more if you like. Of course, you can uh, draw something else. Like I'll just say, uh, maybe I'll just say a tiger and then click on Q prompt. It is running. As you can see, the sampler is again running. Let's wait for it to draw. Don't worry about all of these notes. I will explain it shortly what is happening here and I'm letting it run in front of you so that you would also enjoy the whole process. There you go. So it has sketched these tigers. I mean, this is so, so cool. And I'm not sure if you have in your childhood uh, drawn on those booklets where you just draw something and magically the whole drawing appears. It just reminds um, that sort of feeling or maybe a deja vu. So anyway, so let's see how can we also install this whole thing locally so let me clear the screen from here so what is happening here is that this how to draw is not actually the whole model this is just a lora adapter it is a lora adapter on top of our very famous uh, model which is flux model as you can see here it says the base model is black forest flux, flux def model and this model which is adapter so that is now what is adapter i have done a complete video on these adapters on these lora models and everything so if you go to my channel you just search with this uh, comfy ui you will see that here I have done a very step-by-step -step easy video as how to install this Comfy UI on your system. What exactly is meant by all of these nodes and stuff which you can check out. And then I have also shown you how can you install this Flux Dev and Chanel which is another variant of the model on your local system. But I will also give you a quick overview. So this how to draw is a LoRa or LoRa adaptation. So what happens is that uh, this black forest lab has created this flux model and then uh, people have fine-tuned it with low rack adaptation so what they have done is they have just frozen all the actual layers of the flux dev model and then they have created some adapters on top of it so that to sort of mold the way model is working to their specific use case so for example but this how to draw LoRa adapter is doing whenever we attach it to our base model flux model whatever prompt we give it with a trigger word trigger word is very important that is what tells the adapter and the model to just do the sketches instead of generating the actual images so that is what this how to draw is doing now how do we do that so first step you need to install comfy ui like i have done here how you can do that just go to my channel search with comfy ui and then follow this easiest tutorial on comfy ui i can assure you you will if you don't know what comfy ui is how to install it this video is going to help you how much vram do you need for to run all of this well look um, i will also show you in real time i'm using the full dev model 
so at least make sure you have 24 gp of vram i have seen people even running in on 8 gp of vram so after following this first video you should be able to install comfy ui on your local system then you need to install flux one dev model only dev model so follow the second video and then after this you will be able to install this dev model with comfy ui now if you don't know it all you need to do is to load this all so installation is just about downloading these files first we download text encoder which is this clip file then we download another text encoder which is another clip file we download this adapter which is a, a variable auto encoder which converts the latent images to pixel images again i have discussed it in very simple words in my first video and then this is uh, another flux model with the actual flux model which you download so please watch my those videos and you should be able to know how to download and install flux model but this video is primarily about uh about how to draw but so for example uh, just to give you a quick overview, you take this text encoder, you go to where you have installed the comfy UI. So this is a comfy UI. You go into models directory. Um, the actual flux model you put in the unit, the clip, all that, uh, the first files which I showed you, put, you put in the clip one and the AE file, you put it in the VAE, VAE directory. That is all we are doing. And I have explained it in great detail in my other videos. So please check it out the video which I just showed you. So I'm assuming you already have downloaded these uh, files and put it in their respective folders on your within your comfy UI's model directory. Once that's done, go to this uh, website and I will also drop the link to it in video description. It is called as comfyui-wiki.com. Download this flux dev comfy UI workflow example. So once you download it, it is simple JSON file download it anywhere on your system go to comfy ui click on the load on the right hand side and you see i already have downloaded this first file flux staff comfy ui workflow.json double click on it and it is going to download this whole workflow so don't worry about all of these nodes at all it is um, and if you want to know what these nodes are again please go to this video first one and uh, check it out i have explained it in very simple words okay now what we need to do here we need so this is a workflow for the dev model but we need to embed our lora model here so right maybe i'll just bring it down right click anywhere add node from their loader and then just click on load lora then just drag it tad bit up now this load diffusion model is primarily loading our actual model, right? So, and if you look here, its output model is going somewhere below to something called as model sampling flux. So just pick up this model sampling flux up, keep bringing, bringing it up, and then just put it somewhere here, just to make things easier. Okay, and then just put this flux here. Now, instead of this model going here because we need to put our LoRa adapter on top of model so that this flux model will be able to do the sketches instead of the usual images so i'm just going to remove it from here and then attach it to input of load LoRa here how good is that cool and then this model i'm going to attach to this model to the model sampling flux Another thing which we need to do is we need the clip one. So clip, what clip does is whatever text prompt you do, for example, this is a text prompt, right? It just takes this text prompt or an owl or whatever it is. It encodes it so that the sampler which actually generates the image will understand it. So in this case, we have clip going from here to here. So instead of going here, we will just attach it to the input of load LoRa. And then from load LoRa, we will just drag it and put it here. So that is all we need to do in this case. So again, just to repeat what we have done here, we have added a new node called as load LoRa, right? And then from load LoRa name, make sure you have selected how to draw. Uh, and I will 
tell you what exactly this pin where this one has come from another thing which we have done we have attached the model to this model and this model to this model model sampling plugs and then we have set up our clips so clips are done now we also need to download this how to draw lora right so go to files and i will drop the link to it in video description this whole hugging file um, face repo click on files scroll down click on this save tensor file of how to draw and then right click on this download and save this file where do you save this file wherever you have comfy ui installed there will be a folder called as loras just put it here like i have done here that's all you need to do go back to comfy ui and then from here make sure that lora name is selected to how to draw which already is there because that is the adapter which we need right cool so these are all the steps which we need to do now let's give it a prompt maybe i'll just say it uh, a crocodile and then if you remember what i uh, you know when we were doing it we need to put uh, a trigger word trigger word is extremely important when it comes to these adapters otherwise it won't draw so sorry not this one i just pasted it here so the trigger word in this case is how to draw make sure that case and everything is same so once that's done let's click on this q prompt on the right to run it so let me run it it is going to take a bit of a time it is running let's wait for it you see case sampler is running here it is going to produce the image and save it so let's wait and that is completed let me bring it here so that we all can see oh wow look at this thing maybe i'll just try to um, reduce its size but look at this crocodile how good is that i mean this is simply out of this world really really cool stuff okay so i'm just going to move it and we will uh, draw another thing so i've just put in the prompt and the save image here i'm just asking it a bus let's run it let's wait for it maybe i can also bring that use sampler here so that we would know what is happening so i'm just putting it here and then let's bring back the save image here let's wait for it to finish generating something there you go so you see there are buses how good is that amazing stuff and of course you can change your prompt you can play around with it and there you go i have drawn a tower with it how good is that look at that drawing amazing stuff and then i have drawn a temple and you see how good is that maybe i'll just ask it a gothic church let's see what it does here and there you go so we have our gothic church looks good Okay, maybe I'll just also do an ancient mosque. Let's run it. While it runs, let's also check its GPU VRAM. Maybe I'll just clear the screen. I'll check again. Hmm, so, um, okay, so, more, so it is more than around 34 GPU of VRAM. So make sure you have around 48 GPU of VRAM to run it properly. So I have like... 48 GPU of VRAM, courtesy Mast Compute, who are sponsoring the VM and GPU for this video. If you are looking to rent a GPU on affordable prices, I will drop the link to their website in video description uh, with a 50% off coupon code so that you can rent and also run these sort of things. So feel free to do so. Okay, so let's go back. Hmm, looks quite good. Looks like a mosque from Turkey. Okay, so really good stuff. I hope that you enjoyed it. Let it, uh, I'll be honest, just uh, to be very frank, it took me a long time to get this working. Anyway, I, well, there is not much information present on their hugging face, unfortunately, but that is fine. Now we know how to run it locally and install it with a glyph fund. And uh, towards the end, I will also like to um, shout out for our sponsor who are Agent QL. Agent QL is a query language for extracting data from web pages quickly, easily, and at scale. You can use a Python SDK to run your queries in production using Playwright and use the browser-based debugger for optimizing queries in real time on any web page. 
Agent QL is a robust alternative to Fragile XPath and DOM CSS selector as it uses the power of AI to analyze the page structure to find the data you are looking for. And I will also drop the link to their website in the video's description. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, please consider subscribing to the channel. If you are already subscribed, please do me a favor and share it among your network as it helps a lot. Thank you for watching.